Hello guys and welcome back to episode 3 of Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I am very excited to get going again. Absolutely loving this game. If any of you are wondering, I am recording these back to back at the minute because I've just got it and I can't stop playing. Our supply playing. lines are being raided by Orc pirates. Several reports indicate that the Greenskins are harassing our forces, keeping them off balance. Admiral Spire. Your orders are to escort an important Imperial convoy of equipment and food to Bladen. This world is suffering from the predations of the pirates, and millions will starve if these supplies don't reach their destination. Okay, it's an escort mission. Orcs have been detected in the sector. They will fight to take planets from you. Be aware that any system under their control will give you penalties depending on the system's type and make them more aggressive. Orcs have a moderate chance of attacking a system each turn. For each planet they control, they have an increased chance of launching another attack. Okay, so it's very important they don't get a foothold anywhere. Convoy. Convoys or missions in which valuable transport ships carry personnel and supplies from one system to another. In an attacker role, destroy more than half of the enemy transport ships. Defender, get more than half of your transport ships across the map. Okay, I can see this being a challenge. Let's just the jump The supply straight convoy in. is awaiting the arrival of your fleet to begin its journey. Many orc attacks have been reported on the trade route along your course. Escort the convoy through the system and defend it against any threat. It is vital that this convoy makes it through to Bladen. You'll be in command of the convoy as it passes through the danger zone. The convoy will be safe from the Orc pirates once it reaches the edge of the system. Hmm. Okay. The Orcs plague the whole galaxy from end to end with their ceaseless warring and strife. <laughs> firing mini they are a warlike, they are crude and highly firing aggressive green-skinned Xenos race, organized in a primitive and brutal society, rooted so deeply in war that peace is utterly incomprehensible to them. Their ships are often ill-kempt, unreliable rust buckets kept in operation only by the constant effort of orc mech boys and their Gretchen slaves. Orc pirate attacks are brutally direct, with their ships rushing headlong towards their target, guns firing wildly as they come. Sounds like they cannot be bargained with or bought, save with weapons that they will inevitably turn against those who try to bribe them. Orcs have a need for speed. Their ships commonly mount a plethora of thrusters, boosters, and extra drives, usually all wired up to a prominent red button in the cockpit. Underestimating the Greenskins is a fast route to the grave. <laughs> that really does make me chuckle. I would love to play the Orcs. In fact, I think that might be the first, the first uh, alternative race I actually do test out. Right, select your admiral ship. Um, we only have light cruisers. What's the difference? Okay, this is definitely the Admiral ship because it's got more weaponry. 
we have to take this. Um, what else have we got? So we have a destroyer, 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 destroyer. They're all destroyers, so we have 86 points left. We're not going to take this one, it doesn't have any extra... It doesn't seem to have anything equipped, actually. Um, light micro turret, light double turret, light prow lance. Right, we're going to take this one. Can we take one more, I wonder? We can. Okay, we're going to go with this setup. Um, All ships. Four's enough. We have reached the zone of space where the orc pirates are known to lurk. Stay alert for any enemy ships. Acknowledged. My convoy ships are packed to the brim with supplies. If we lose more than half these ships, our mission will fail and Bladen is doomed. If we split up the transport ships, we have a better chance of getting through the orc pirate patrols. Well, that seems like a bad idea. Um, okay, so we're here. I want to deploy it one edge or the other. If I was the orcs, I would be hiding in an asteroid field or something like that. Um, there seems to be a clear path through the middle here. However, I'm assuming they're going to be hiding in that cloud for certain and maybe behind one of these. Um, okay, I think we're going to deploy for this mission down here. Ooh, are we? That is... No, I don't like those gas... too many gas clouds there. Um, I think maybe what we'll do then is we'll deploy here, we'll run the risk, we'll avoid the asteroid field. There's only one place they can really hide, which is in here. So I figure this is a good way to go. So if we've got our Admiral ship there, we just go... I don't want them overlapping particularly. Like so... Like so. What are you? You're the other ship. Um, I think I'd like you. Do you know what we'll do? I want to redeploy you. I don't like you there. Um, I think I kind of like to get a bit more of an arrow shape going on. Wait, what's that? That's very, very small. have a little bit of overlap there, but I think that'd be okay. Um, these are our transports. They are going to lurk way back and we'll just... Yeah, we'll just sort of do that. So they're barely overlapping. Um, based on that, we need to move out ever so slightly. Of course, our big ship is going to go in front. Just close up a little bit like this. In a sort of a very rough wedge formation. That's going to give us the best response. Many enemy ships are converging on the convoy. These must be the Orc Pirates. Where? The Greenskins don't understand strategy. The Orc ships are likely to close in at short range and rely on their tough front armor. The Orcs are also eager to fight. Okay. These savages will try to board our ships, and they won't hesitate to ram anything in their way. All ships, prepare for battle. I'm wondering if we can just outrun them. I don't 
think that's very likely though. No. Well, definitely not. Um, okay. Your orders? You lot. Setting Stop course. There. You four. Underway. Awaiting orders. Good, they missed. Awaiting orders. So there's two orcs, one there, one there. At your we command. Anyone. Orca probe. Awesome. Um. Let's set it there and let's hope it's going to cross paths at the right time. That is a mine. Your orders. Understood. Changing course. Thanks for bringing us more loot. We're going to take Shit, all your transports way. and then we'll see how your ships fight, human. This is the last time you attack Imperial ships, Greenskin. Prepare to meet your end. I've heard that before from you, Yumi's. Okay, boys, time to crack these weedy Imperial dicks and bring me your dead chief. Ship ready. We are the Imperial Navy. Enemy ship sighted. Yes, Admiral. Why are you not listening to me? At your command. That's my own fault for not setting behaviours. Um. Your orders? Engaging! Awaiting orders. Looks like we might hit the mine. We are the Imperial Navy. Let's go for his engines. Yes, Admiral. Engines hot. Toy ships are no match for old technology. Oi! Why is our ship falling apart? Course plotted! Engines to maximum! Get out. Ship there. ready! Oh, I lost two ships already. For the Emperor! This is awful. Yes, Admiral. Awaiting orders. Understood. Right, I think we're just going to make a run for it for these guys. At your command. Your orders. Best I can hope to do. Oh, damn the orders. At your command. Everything in this part of space belongs to the Oaks. One of the convoy ships has been destroyed. If we lose any more, the planet we're trying to save is as good as dead. Awaiting orders. Your orders? Oh, screw you. All right, boys. Plunder every ship you can find. Plenty of wreckage out there, and plenty of garbage crates where he's can loot. Well, that was awesome. awful Disengage. Start. The orcs have the convoy supplies, and we can't lose any more ships to these pirates. I did not expect them to be that fast. 
Um, I'm not really sure what to do differently on the next one to to prevent that from happening again. Um, I mean, we had four ships went in, and they just couldn't take out those two. Hmm. I don't know if that's because you need more firepower or the failure were of your bad. mission has caused unexpected consequences for the Gothic sector. The starving people on Bladen have begun a revolt, and the entire planet is now considered in rebellion against the Imperium. The sedition you set out to fight has only grown worse. I shall not fail you again, Lord Admiral. I swear it. That is a bad start. Um, and I'm guessing you can't recapture these. Okay, we're going to go to the Port Moore station anyway. I did see that someone had a promotion. I think next time as well we'll take their advice and actually split the convoy into two. Um, because that way the ships wouldn't have been able to group in on us. I just I don't think they're stoppable. Um, two on one if they're a big ship. So we have an upgrade. Um, not on that ship though. This ship has an upgrade. So what have we got? Turbo weaponry. The range of all macro weapons on the ships are increased. And additional teleportarian for lightning strike. I don't want that for certain. Armor piercing ammunition. Maybe. Faster torpedoes. Above 6k distance, the accuracy loss of macro weaponry is reduced by 50%. That would be very good, but I don't think we've got anything macro. Uh, fires of 50% less duration. Three additional defense turrets. First permanent critical damage inflicted to a system is ignored. That is very good. Um, ship can continue to use special orders when the deck is destroyed. Adds a new critical damage, triggering a mutiny to lightning strikes. Detection range of a ship is raised by 2,500 units. Duration of the following special orders are raised by 50%. Lock on brace from. Don't want that for sure. Reloading speed of the shield is improved by 50%. Shield has a 25% chance to deny damage. That is good. Asteroid damage to a ship's negated. Well, we haven't really met any asteroids yet. Um, additional void shield generator. Line ship's shield is improved by 100 points. Uh, special moves will not reveal the ship anymore. Combustion gauge for special moves is improved by 25%. Rotation speed is improved by 5 degree per second. Ship speed is improved by 25. Hmm. Okay. Um, before we decide on that, let's just have a quick look at our crew points. So, reduces insubordination. That one is for navigation through the warp. Improves efficiency of emergency repairs, don't want that. Improves by 25% critical chance of lances and macro weapons. That I'm liking the sound of. Improve for troop value, no. Reduce cooldown timer of steals. We're definitely going Master Gunner. 100% certain um, that is the way to go. We need better weapons. Reconditioning. Ah, so that will reset all the points. We don't need that. I don't think we need to do any repairs. Let's see our upgrades. 
So we have a medium torpedo launcher on the prow, a light double macro turret, and a light macro battery. So maybe we are good to update. Here we go. Ship's macro weapons always count the enemy's armor reduced by 25%. That could be good. Um, we don't want long range. We haven't got long range weapons. I thought I saw one that was extra damage for macro weapons. Did I imagine that? Must have imagined that. Okay, um, we're going to go with this one. Armor piercing ammunition. Definitely. We need to do more damage. The faster we can destroy ships, the better for us, I think. We could potentially unlock a cruiser slot. Um, don't know if that's a good idea or not. Why not? Ha ha! Hello! What do we have here? Um, you have Prow Heavy Torpedo Launcher, Macro Battery, and an Ordnance Launch Bay. Fighter squadrons defend the ship against attack craft and torpedoes. Bomber squadrons are sent to attack enemy ships through their shields. Assault boats perform assault actions from afar. Okay. I do like the sound of the dictator. What have we got here? Lance battery. Heavy torpedo launcher. Macro battery. Nova cannon. Don't think I can trust myself with that yet. That would just destroy our own ships, I think. I think I would like to go with this one for now. Um, I think this is going to turn the tide in our favour. Skills. Supercharged Void Shield comes impenetrable. That does sound good. Um, I don't want emergency capacitors. Disruption bomb can be teleported within a long range. It depletes all shields in the effect area. Maybe. A plasma bomb. When it explodes it deals 100 damage to all ships. That's going to screw us up I think. Um, Org Disruptor, reduced detection, don't want it. Stasis Bomb can be deployed, can be teleported within a long range, it explodes, it slows anything down, definitely don't want. Targeted shipping and subordination, no, we don't want that. Void Shield Transfer, no, we don't want to reduce our shields for anyone. Deploys a stationary device, has a detection range of 2500 units, no. Orga probe, maybe. Micro warp jump. Enhanced cells. So, teleport and reorient the ship within its detection range. Definitely. Definitely want that. We haven't got any renown left, so we can't purchase anything else. Um, allows you to replenish the movement gauge instantly. That would be beneficial, but I think the next one we'll go for is supercharged void shields. I think that would be a way to go. And here we have some crew points. Um, again, I think I would like to go master gunner. So, that looks pretty good to me. Haven't got anything we can do here. Haven't got anything we can do here. Okay. I'm quite happy with that. So, even though it was a loss, we did learn a little bit about what not to do. Um, definitely divide and conquer for the next convoy mission, and we'll see how that goes. As always, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.